why are Black American men less likely to be diagnosed early with prostate cancer? There are differences in access to care and care practices so that not all patients receive optimal care. It's particularly true of people with advanced disease and those who live in uh, vulnerable communities. African-American men perceive racial bias in healthcare, and in some cases they may avoid treatment because of it. For example, African-American men are less likely to get PSA testing. Uh, there's delayed care. Some black males may have difficulty accessing or paying for healthcare due to, uh, due to factors such as socioeconomic status, lack of health insurance, or lack of knowledge about prostate cancer. They may be afraid of getting a prostate exam. They may be afraid of what the result might be. They might even be embarrassed about the digital rectal exam. A major contributing factor is lack of knowledge, however. Lots of attention has been devoted to women's cancers like breast, cervical, and uterine, and that's good, but much less has been said about cancers of the male reproductive system, which is not as good. In a convenient sampling of people, only half of them, could, where you just stop people at random on the street, only half of them could say uh, what, what the prostate gland is or where it's located. And so a lot of people say prostrate cancer, and we've had women who have confronted us for examining only men. So the public seems to know not nearly enough about the prostate and diseases of the prostate. Men often fear that a diagnosis of prostate cancer means the end of their sex life. And this is not true, especially when the cancer is diagnosed early. Many men who have been treated for prostate cancer have full and active sex lives. 